Hi, uh, we're here at the, at the Christine Nichols Project. It's a gallery owned by Christine Nichols. My name is Jeff Ho, and um, we're doing an exhibit, or I'm doing an exhibit with Christine, and this exhibit is The Board. It's about the Magic Surfboard, or th this particular board, or this design, uh, which I... I probably I probably made the the first design in the in the 60s, but um, this particular board was built 15 years ago, and um, this is a recreation of the board that I've been riding. Uh, it's a single fin and it's a performance um, it's a performance longboard. Also, the other boards, the short boards, are. Um, a board that Alan Sarlo rides and Alan's been a team rider for me for many many years. Uh, it's a copy of a board that he rode through the Malibu Pier on August 27th, Big Wednesday. Yeah. 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 So there's film and there's uh, stills of Alan just going through the middle of the pier. And um, this particular model is uh, one of Alan's um, uh, favorite boards. Anyways, we're also here to read a, um, a section out of the, the My Rules book, which um, I wrote for Glenn Friedman. And... Um, <coughs> I'll, uh, I'll read it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sh uh, let me see, where is it? I had it here. Where the heck is it? Okay, this is the photo that Glenn did. And that's the little story that I wrote, but I'm going to have to read it out of this, this booklet that Chris made um, because I, the, the print is so small. <laughs> Growing up in urban Los Angeles, I was a latchkey kid who ran the streets with older guys. To be accepted, you paid your dues by showing respect and working hard. There were no surf, surfers or skaters in my neighborhood. The culture was about cars, cruising, and looking good. I was six or seven when I was taught to use tools at school and at the body shop where I worked. I also learned about the consequences of crossing borders. Not everything was positive. In the 50s, there were no skate shops, no urethane wheels, no sealed bearings, and no production skateboards readily available. Generally, if you wanted a skateboard, you made it yourself. I built my first skateboard out of the classic metal wheel roller skate and a 2x4. I taught myself to ride, jump curbs, turn, and stop. Not having anyone to teach me there were no barriers, no intimidation. It was pure freedom. I was addicted to the rush of I was addicted to the rush of bombing hills. In the early 60s, I took up surfing and started building performance longboards. My approach to board manufacturing and design went against the norm at the time. I was one of the only people in LA that was making boards shorter and lighter. By 1967, I had a scene going and an underground company called Jeffo Surfboards that was at the forefront of a revolution in the sport. I sponsored a team of surfers. Some were contest surfers and some were sole surfers. By the 70s, I had started two other businesses Zephyr Productions, a retail and manufacturing shop in Santa Monica, and a separate manufacturing and glassing facility that had 
that did subcontracting work for my label and other companies. I made thousands and thousands of boards. The neighborhood encompassing the south side of Santa Monica Ocean Park in Venice became known as Dogtown. I created the Zephyr competition team and put some of the younger amateur surfers on a skateboard team later referred to as the Z-Boys in two films, Dogtown and Z-Boys and the Lords of Dogtown. The art of surfing and the art of skating are special ones. It's all about the ride, the style, and the feeling one gets from a good one. This is the quest, the reward, the goal. You have to have the right set of circum circumstances, the board, the wave, the smooth transitions, and the right physical and mental conditions that translates into the balls to go for it. Anybody can skate or surf. All you need is a desire to ride. It doesn't have to cost a thing to go surfing or skating. There are no rules. Everybody can do it. Everybody can do it their own way. That's the freedom and the beauty of it. Anyone tells you you're doing it wrong, you can tell them to fuck off. <laughs> The, the search for the adrenaline rush, whether it's going down a hill or riding a wave, keeps me going. It's also about the search for the magic board, one that becomes an extension of your body. When you ride it, you can do no wrong. It turns better, goes faster. Whenever you see a line, a path, or think of a maneuver, the board goes wherever you want it to go. That's what I build. Having one of these boards can, make, can be like a relationship for some people. Coming from the inner city, I had no figure. I, I, had, I had to figure things out on my own. It was not easy early on. I've always tried to make things easier for the next generation. I believe that it's our responsibility as elders, I never had, as elders, I never had anyone looking out for me, but I sure could have used it. Being as fortunate as I have been, I've tried, I've, I wanted to inspire and help the younger generations by passing along equipment and knowledge. That's what I've tried to do throughout my life. Not everyone, I've sponsored has been successful but for me it's been about the process and for the love it's why I do what I do the process is simple building the boards writing the boards and sharing the experience with others it's a way of life and has become the foundation for a surf skate culture yeah. there you go Glenn invited me to be in this book with all these other people to uh, help inspire you know the younger generation or other people in um, in doing whatever they they like to do whether it be music surfing skating you know whatever but anyway so I want to thank Glenn for letting me be in his book and I want to thank Christine for letting me have this show, and yeah. Why do you keep doing this? Oh, shit. I, it's in the book. It's in the My Rules book. I keep doing it. Yeah, you can buy a book. There, there's, there's, it's in the My Rules book, dude. It's for the love. It's all it is. It's all. It, it's it's for the love, dude. Like what? What else? Yeah, you just, you just, you know, it's for the love, bro. That's it. What? What else can I say? <laughs>